The following trailer is rated H for honest. In a world torn apart by corruption, violence, and insanely aggressive rats, two assassins will take justice into their own hands and reunite the nation through peaceful negotiation and diplomacy. Just kidding, they just murder everyone. Dishonored. Slide into the wacky face mask of Corvo Atano, master assassin and terrible royal bodyguard, whose boss and lover is stabbed in front of his very eyes by a bunch of teleporting assholes who then frame him for the murder, forcing him to go on a game-long revenge spree to take out everyone even slightly involved where he'll use his ethically questionable shadow powers to rescue his daughter and restore her to the throne in a plot that's basically just taken with magic. Then experience the sequel, where the exact same shit happens again 15 years later. In a framing device so lazy, even Corvo sounds bored with it. Nothing will stop me from bringing you home, Emily. Ugh. Explore the unique setting of the Dishonored series, in a fantasy industrial revolution where everything runs on fish oil the developers call whale punk, which is basically just steampunk if you replace all the smokestacks with whale corpses, and get lost in the incredible art and level design that's so intricate and detailed it almost makes up for the extremely linear storyline that's told mostly by a talking human heart, a goth kid who's a big fan of exposition, and reading. Gross. Prepare yourself to be conflicted by Dishonor's chaos system, as the game lines up a huge variety of creative ways to murder people, but treat you like an asshole if you actually do, filling the streets with nastier enemies and funneling you off into the bad ending, unless you go full Batman as you knock out everyone with tranquilizer darts and chokeholds, and a bizarre morality guilt trip that seriously dilutes the fun of the power fantasy. Also, you're still probably killing most of these dudes. Yep, totally dead. Get ready to activate your OCD, as Dishonored presents you with intricate, multi-level maps full of secrets to uncover, then hands you an item that tells you where to find them all, forcing you to spend hours scrounging up every bone charm and rune you can get your hands on, expanding your suite of tactical options and creative murder magic, and unlocking new time and rat-based powers for Corvo, or new shadow demon stuff for Emily who's basically just the protagonist of the darkness, then realize that none of that helps anyway because you're terrible at stealth games. So grab your flippy knife, chug down some whale spunk, and enter a magical world of assassination that fantasy stealth fans better enjoy, because now that they've up the Thief franchise forever, it's pretty much this and Infinite Assassin's Creed sequels until the end of time. Unless, I don't know, someone puts a steampunk hat in Hitman or something? Starring Mad Bad Dad Assassin's Diaries, Anton Sucks A Lot, Slugworth, Tweedle Die and Tweedle Dead, Eyes Wide Shut, One Woman Army, Genocide Jack, Vape Life, The Craft, Luca Blight, Wicked Bitch of the West, and Jared Leto. Dishonored and it feels so good. Did you know you could assassinate yourself to break your fall? I hope they have therapists in Dunwall, cause that sh** is f***ed. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Game Trailers, and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. If you can't stand the beat, stay out of the disco. I promise I will never die. Do you consent to this potato? Hey girl, call to the firemans because I am in fire. Ooh ee, ooh ah ah, ting tang, walla walla bing bang.